Did they take your temperature outside? Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm here at my doctor's office for my once every six month doctor's visit where I come and I talk to the doctor and do a you know, regular check-in and then also get lab work done, which involves getting some blood drawn and getting a urine sample. If you guys haven't seen my other doctor's visit video, I'll link that above. Otherwise, stick around and see what a typical HIV doctor's visit is like. Come in. Oh, hello, kiddo. How are you doing? Hi. Good, how are you? Oh my god. Well, you know. Is it on? Yeah. How long has it been on? Five, ten minutes. But it was doing nothing. I was recording me. What were you doing? <laughs> Texting. And you can you can edit that this part out, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, what's new? Not a whole lot. Since recovered from my eye infection. Good. There's still a big thing in there, but it's way better. Yeah, but that's better. It's oh, worse. Yeah, it's tiny now compared. Does it hurt? Um, at night it gets more irritated. What else is new? So that's getting better. Uh -huh. Excellent. That's how those things tend to go. They just get better. Yeah. What else is going on with you? I'm doing... Have you heard of Plus Life, Carl Schmid? No. It was an online media company that he put together about HIV and like just living your best life and now um, now it's airing on localist channels nationwide for ABC. Excellent. So I'm doing like a fitness, I'm hosting a fitness segment each episode. Fantastic. Well, let me look at a couple other things. And how has uh, life with COVID been for you? Because the last time I saw you was pre-lockdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been all right considering. I've been working from home anyway and I'm pretty much an introvert so it's frighteningly easy for me. Mm-hmm. And how has your sex life been? Good. Um, Are you having sex? Yeah. With one person? The guy that person? I told you about before, he's my boyfriend now, and he's been staying with me. Uh, I met him last March, and he was going back and forth from here to cruise ships, because he was working on cruise ships, obviously. That, oh, that ended. Ended in February, March, and then since then he's been staying with me. Initially, because he, you know, obviously he needed to, and now it's just kind of convenient. That's fantastic. Yeah, and it's just really nice. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. I'm delighted to hear it. Um, and remind me, is he positive, negative? Negative. And does that weigh on you, or do you think it might weigh on him that you're positive? I don't think that either of us really think about it much. That's yeah. the right answer. And why is that the right answer? Because I'm undetectable, there you and go, there you go. I cannot give it to him. Perfect. And I know you know that. Uh, so no condoms? No. And do you two have a monogamous relationship, open relationship, not sure? Monogamous. Okay. Do you yeah. want us to check for any STDs? No. No, then we won't. Um, how's your mother? She's good. Where is she? She's in Southern She's in Southern Southern Beach. That's what I thought. Her and her Southern. husband have a plastics manufacturing plant that they've been able to keep open since it's since they do some medical products. Mm-hmm. Do they make little plastic shields? Because those are pretty. They do like heavy duty bags and stuff. What is to clean the shit out of your ears? Yeah. Okay. There's some pretty heavy duty shit. Yeah. In that ear. It's not heavy duty, but it's dried up. And this one. It's pristine. My blood pressure seems a little... I'm gonna go back and look at it in a second. It may not be that accurate. Take a couple big deep breaths. One more. Good. And if you could lean back and kick your feet up. If you're sad, I can go to the gym. Yeah, hopefully soon. Which gym do you go to? French. Hopefully gyms will open back up. You know, obviously with some regulations. Mine opened up and then of course closed down. Yeah. And you had to make an appointment, which is fine. Yeah. Which one is that? Uh, Easton's on Beverly. Oh, nice. That is it. And then lab work. Your blood pressure is brilliant. What the hell are you talking about? Really? 130 is the highest I've ever seen that. No, fantastic. It's perfect. I just worry since I've been sitting at home all the time. You can, I'll give you things to worry about, but that wouldn't be one of them. I would worry that Donald Trump gets reelected. Oh, Lord. If you're looking for something to worry about. There's there the tip go. of the iceberg, yeah. That'll, that, worrying about that will keep you up at night. But don't worry about your blood pressure. Your blood pressure is perfect. Okay. And now that I just mentioned Donald Trump, your blood pressure is probably <laughs> For sure. Any advice for the folks at home with regards to COVID and yes. HIV? Yeah, so there seems to be no association between COVID and HIV. People with HIV don't do any better or worse. Um, the real risks for COVID are people who are obese, people who are older, 65 and older, they do worse. People that have underlying heart disease or lung disease, 
they do worse, but people with HIV do not seem to do any better or worse. And I say better because there was some speculation that certain HIV meds or PrEP can actually be protective. That's all theory based in nothing with no evidence to support it. Yeah. So HIV meds or PrEP do not help protect against COVID. But my main advice with COVID is to get used to living with this. Right now, at least in this part of the world, in LA, we're under a bit of a more severe lockdown, like restaurants are closed, as we're just saying, gyms are closed. And that's gonna change, things will open up, things might close down again, yeah. but I think we're gonna be living with COVID and some sort of restrictions around COVID for a long time, like let's plan on a year. Mm -hmm. Even though there's talk about a vaccine being developed, for sure, it's gonna take quite a while. So if we're going to be living with this for a year, we have to get used to living with it and used to still being human. And that involves yeah. getting out and exercising and having social interaction. So we can have social interaction that's safe. It just mm -hmm. means keeping up with social distancing, you know, maybe meeting your friends outside, staying six feet apart, keeping the crowd size pretty small, or maybe having a more selective bubble of people, social bubble of people that you trust. Yeah people that are not, you know, doing crazy things like congregating and going to parties and doing things that are going to put them at greater risk of COVID. But I think we need to get used to living our lives and live it safely because we're going to we're going to be locked down like this in some form or another for a while. Yeah. That's my COVID advice. Well, cool. thank you. Okay, kiddo, thanks for being patient today. Thank you. You're brilliant. I love seeing you. All is good. Da, 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 da. If you want to record the rest, recording at your watch should be kind of fun. I'll see you later. Yeah. Okay. Okay, don't touch that. Oh, don't touch that either. Hey! Hey! I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Mel. How are you? Good. We're going to put some ears off. Okay. Is it easier if I get on this chair? Yeah, yeah. Is that the right ear? Yeah, the right ear. I like your mask. Thank you. I showed my mom the video. You did? <laughs> Cute. She's like, he's ripped. <laughs> yeah, I've gained like 25 pounds. During the quarantine? Yeah. <laughs> you and your family managed to stay, stay healthy? Yeah. Yeah. One of my co-workers got a little scared mm -hmm. she went to a party and the birthday girl came out positive oh. so she thought she had it yeah but luckily nobody got it only one girl got it from oh, the whole great. party but it was mild um she only lost her mouth and oh, yeah, smell yeah, yeah her senses so i'm like she got lucky you know because that's what people... happened with my boyfriend too oh he got it too i think i had it and then he came to stay with me uh -huh. And I had really mild symptoms back in March, and then he came to stay with me, and then shortly after lost his taste and smell. Oh, you lost it too? I didn't. Mine was different. I just had mild fever and throat. Oh, interesting. Stuff, yeah. Yeah, I guess just everybody's body's different, huh? Mm -hmm. You're freaking out. Yeah. Oh, and I had the, <laughs> the tightness in my chest for oh. like a couple weeks. <gasps> that was scarier than anything. Yeah, because you feel like you can't breathe. Yeah. Do you know where you got it? I had a meeting with my agency, mm -hmm. like maybe a week before, and then someone there tested positive. So I think oh. when we all met up, and hugging each other and all of that. Yeah. You got the right shirt today. <laughs> yeah. You can take off your mask so I won't get wet. I hurt my ears a couple of weeks ago. You heard it? Yeah, with the Q-tip. Oh, too deep? Yeah. It was horrible pain. You even got infected. Oh, because of that? Yeah. Here it comes. Yeah. It was just like a little piece. A little one? Oh, that's a little? <laughs> <laughs> Let me look at that. There's more. Wow. What? It looks stuck. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you got it clean? Like a year ago, I yeah, think? Yeah, like a year. We got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jesus. Yay, nice and clean. Like we're gonna have Thank to call you. someone else. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that's it. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Take care. We'll see you in six months. Alrighty. Thank you for watching. I hope this demystified the experience a little bit for you, made it not as scary, and maybe even answered some questions. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace. I know we're acting stupid.